Welcome back. Well, the Broadway production of Hamilton has received a lot of attention, and now the lead actor in that production is hoping to transfer some of that attention to a great cause. Miguel Cervantes is joining us, along with his wife, Kelly, to tell us about uh, this great project that you've got, you've taken taken on. All right, thank you for coming in. Absolutely, thanks for having us. All thank right, uh, I want to talk to you about Hamilton, but sure. first I want to talk to you about what you're doing and how you're hoping to get some attention to the issue of epilepsy and this organization called Cure. Uh, you know, we found out, my daughter uh, around the same time as Hamilton came into our lives so did this situation with my daughter and so now that you know Hamilton has a little bit of a platform and and you know I have a little bit of exposure I want to be able to spread some light and information and hopefully raise some money for the cure uh, to you know give some information about epilepsy because it's something that not a lot of people know about I didn't know a lot about of it about it before Adelaide was uh, diagnosed and so now I hope that uh, through our efforts to raise some money, that people will know a little bit more about it and, and that they can find some. So raising funds and raising awareness. Um, let's talk a little bit about Adelaide and how she's doing now because it's my understanding that you found out about her diagnosis in connection to when you found out about Hamilton, right, Kelly? Yeah, it, was, it all sort of came down in the same week. Um, Adelaide was in the hospital for tests. She had had some irregular brain activity and... Um, we were actually, Adelaide was getting a, a lumbar puncture, a spinal tap at the exact same time that Miguel was going in for his um, second or third callback for oh the my. show. So it was emotionally charged week for us. And then we got the, the generalized epilepsy diagnosis later on. She would be diagnosed with infantile spasms, which is a um, pretty horrible form of epilepsy. It's really challenging to treat. Um, but yeah, we, we found out the, the epilepsy diagnosis and that we were moving to Chicago all in the same week. So what was, was that like for you? I mean, it's a, the, 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 the different sides of the change. Mm -hmm. you know, it couldn't be more excited to be um, given this opportunity. I mean, yeah. it's Hamilton, this thing that all of us were amazed by that it was, and I was gonna be part of it and be the guy. Mm -hmm. At the same time, to understand that that we are about to start this other journey of this other, you know, fight for this sort of, it, it, you know, maybe it made the idea of going in for, you know, there were 25 people in the room, the producers and Lynn was there. And it sort of made me, half of my brain was with my yeah. daughter and the other half was saying all the words. So it sort of made, made it a, a, an easier transition that I wasn't so, uh, yeah. so con concerned with, with doing it. And then we got the, the, the news. So it all just sort of, you know, we picked up our family and, and you know, decided to, to take our fight to Chicago. And look at how things work out. You couldn't have come to a better place. You've got Lori Children's <sighs> Hospital, which is a Amazing. wonderful hospital that she goes to. And then just the whole connection with David Axelrod being, and his yeah. wife Susan being Chicago people and running this program or this organization called Cure, right? So I had actually met Susan in New York, the restaurant that I had worked for in the city, Cure hosted their annual gala there for two years. So I was familiar with Cure from the beginning, uh, knew that they were in Chicago. So once sort of the, we had our head above water with you know our, all sure. of these life changes, I reached out to Cure and said, we're moving to Chicago, our daughter has epilepsy, please help us. And immediately they connected us with other moms, families uh, who had epileptic children, recommendations. Uh, they just could not have been more supportive in this incredible transition um, as Susan Axelrod is just one of the most amazing human beings I've ever met. Yeah, good support system there that you've mm -hmm. built up. One of the things that I wanted to talk to you about, we talk about um, epilepsy and the fact that not a lot of people know about it. Definitely in the Latino community, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of knowledge about it. Yeah. And you being of Mexican descent, I would imagine you, it's, it's a way for you to raise awareness about what this is. You know, it, it is, it is a, uh, an issue that, that you'd only sort of hear about on the periphery. So now, hopefully, people from you know communities the Hispanic community can understand that you're not alone when something like this happens mm -hmm. to your family or to your to your loved ones you know sometimes it feels a little isolating mm -hmm. and you don't know sort of what the what the what, course of action is yeah, what really. you're supposed to do who you can reach out to who can help you and people should know that you know it it, it touches any any person any family regardless of, mm -hmm. of who you are so it is, it is an important thing for all communities to know, the Hispanic community and any other community who may, you know, family members, who, family who may have to be dealing with this, that 
that it there are there is it's uh, everybody yeah, yeah it's everybody and there are people who can help and there are people who are who understand and who can who can who can give you support okay i want to talk to you a little bit about hamilton sure. otherwise my producer will kill me <laughs> um, how are you doing are you kind of has it sunk in already you know, that you're playing this wonderful character so rich in history every once in a while i'll be on stage you know by myself about to say something um, and this sort of odd feeling of of, of disbelief happens as the spotlight comes down and I'm about to say these things. And I remember you know, six months ago, I was listening to the music saying, oh, that's such a cool thing. Wouldn't it be great if I would be, you know? Yeah. And then here I am about to say it in front of those people. <laughs> so there is this, this feeling of, of wonder sometimes that, because mm -hmm. it's this amazing, I'm so humbled that they chose me, that they, they thought that I could, that I could mm -hmm. hold the, that I could carry the banner here. So yeah, it, and so, it gets easier every week, you know, every, I sort of, as my body is getting used to it, my voice yeah. is getting used to it, but it really is, it really is kind of an unbelievable thing to the life change that has happened from, you know, I was the guy, one of the guys, people calling my friends saying, hey, you know, could you give me tickets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now people are calling me, so it, it, it is a weird, a weird thing to be part of. What's it like for you, Kelly, to watch? How many times have you seen the show now? Uh, five. Five, Once, once okay. with the original cast. Miguel did it in New York for a month, so I saw it twice in New York, and then I've seen it twice here, and it's, um, I'm just so ridiculously proud of him. This is, you know, a, a half a lifetime's worth of work has gone into him getting this role, yeah. and he's worked so hard, and it's just, it's a pretty incredible experience to watch him up on that stage yeah. and to be able to brag about him. And there you um, go. so it's, you know, it's, um, it's this incredible light in our lives and I'm, I'm very grateful. And you that know, not only that, that, but it is the, the to, to be able to, beyond the, 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 the show and the role and how great that whole thing is, the messages that we're trying to send, the, 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 of, of the racial, the racial uh, just breaking down the barriers and all these things, to be able to be a voice for all of those things is, is, an, is such an important part of this experience yeah. for me. Um, uh, so that layered on top of everything else just makes the whole thing that much more special. Yeah. And for our show, being uh, highlighting the Latino community on Adelante, it means a great deal to them, be, you being of uh, Mexican descent, that yeah. you, they look up to you, you know? Yeah, I embrace that, and I'm so happy that Lynn decided that, <laughs> that yeah. he wanted it to be this way. And so, you know, and for myself to be able to, to carry the banner and to, and to say these words mm -hmm. and to represent a culture and a community that sometimes gets overlooked, and same for everybody else in the show, yeah. all the other actors of color and race and, and, and uh, um, for them to be able to have a voice and for me to have a voice and to be able to use my voice this way, it, it means so much and I hope that people can see yeah. and, 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 and receive the message that we're trying to, to, to put okay. out. Okay, wonderful. One more time, what's a website can people can, that people can go to if they want more information about epilepsy? Myshot at epilepsy.org. Myshot at epilepsy.org. Okay, we got it. Thank you so much, okay. Kelly. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs>